Hello everyone. Welcome to my 500th video on YouTube. Zachary Betts here. Ten months ago, I wrote something on a notebook. Something I would accomplish in my life. And I lived on 440 Rosewood Court in Mansfield, Ohio. And that officially started my YouTube career. Ten months later, I moved here to Michigan. And I permanently live or I permanently live here in Hudsonville, Michigan on 6912 Barrow Creek Court. And in 10 months, I did 500 videos. I'd like to say thanks to everyone in my YouTube career who have made me who have made me a YouTube giant. So um I'm gonna put or uh, put up something fun and a tribute video of what I've accomplished over ten months on my YouTube career. First, let's look outside. We'll look up. We'll do this in the laundry room. Look at that. Ten months ago, I was living in Mansfield, Ohio, with my mom. Before September 9th, 2012, when she died of a heart attack. And ten months later. Or, um, after that, one a week later, I moved to uh, Hudsonville, Michigan, and ten months later, here I am, doing my 500th, my 500th video. I can't say more than that. And now, I'm gonna, we're going to take a look back at what I've accomplished. Over my 10 months and, more, and my 500 videos of what I've accomplished. It's, it is a cloudy day. And it's a, and doing April Fool's jokes. So that's it. So. On the slower car, T.J. Bell. Yeah, Brad will have some traffic to deal with here in a few moments. Jimmy's got this some clear sailing, but just for you, Jimmy guys. is back two seconds, so he needs to speed it up here as we're down to 22 laps to go. Casey Kane sitting where he's been most of the day there in the third position. Does not seem to be able to do anything with uh, Keselowski and Jimmy Johnson. It seems to be what's been going on for him today. Other chase contenders, Tony Stewart, he's currently up to sixth. Denny Hamlin just moved up a spot. Denny's in the seventh spot. Dale Hart Jr. is 10th. Martin Truex Jr. is 11th. Clint Boyer is now 12th. Greg Biffle is 13th. Kevin Harvick just moved by Eric Almarola, so Kevin is currently in 15th. Matt Kenseth is 18th. And Jeff Gordon had a throttle stick. He hit the wall back at uh, lap 187. He's been out of the race since that time and is shown in the 35th position and currently is 47 points behind in the chase standings. It's going to be really tough on Jeff Gordon if the, the situation pops up where he's good one week, bad the next. Good one week, bad the next. That's that's just, that tears a whole race team apart. That's, uh, and that's a heck of a way to start off a chase. When you're that far behind going into race number two, the good news about it, kind of like when you're in a race and something happens to you, only you have time to recover. Well, I guess uh, if you don't have bad luck now, that would be halfway through the chase because you do have
have some time if you get a couple of good races in a row. And uh, as we said, uh, Hendrick Motorsports has some real good racetracks within uh, the context of the, the Chase racetrack. So he has time to come back. And, you know, with as strong as that team is, as good as, uh, as Jeff is, uh, they certainly have as good a chance right. as anybody to get back up there. But it's got to be disheartening leaving the first race of the Chase being that far back. Yeah, you want to come out of here with at least a top five, but that's not going to be the case for some of these guys, that's for sure. Brad Keselowski, Jimmy Johnson, Casey Kane, Ryan Newman, and Kyle Busch. They're the top five. 248 laps complete, 19 to go. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Motor Racing Network. WCOM Defiance. Northwest Ohio's NASCAR headquarters. 105.7, the Bull. Chicagoland Speedway, the site of the first race of the chase, the Geico 400, with only 18 laps remaining. Motor Racing Network here to bring it to you live. Alongside Barney Hall, I'm Joe Moore. Dave Moody and Alex Hayden are in the turns today. Winston Kelly, Steve Post, and Pete Mastoni are on pit road. This race has seen 16 lead changes among nine different drivers. Currently, we have 20 drivers still on the lead lap, winding down the battle between Brad Keselowski and Jimmy Johnson if... Jimmy can catch him. Yeah, and even if he catches him, he's still got to get around him, but uh, I wouldn't bet against Jimmy because, as I said, that car handles so good in both ends of the racetrack. Watching him go through three and four over there just a minute ago, and he seems to have just one line through there, Alex, when he comes into that corner, and it's right at the bottom of the racetrack, and then he lets the car drift out toward the wall when he comes out of three and four. Yeah, Marty, it's been a consistent effort all afternoon for both of the cars running at the front of the field, both Jimmy Johnson and Brad Keselowski. For the better part of the race, however, they've been about a groove and a half off the very bottom of the corner. Coming up off of turn number four, they'll certainly let the car drift wide out towards the safer barrier, but very consistent all afternoon for the top two. 251 complete, 16 to go. How much coffee are you going to need today? Four, five cups. It doesn't last very long, does it? Listen. One five-hour energy lasts for several hours, so you can get a lot done without refills. It's packed with B vitamins and nutrients to make it last. Plus, five-hour energy is zero sugar and four calories. So the next time that 2.30 feeling hits, you have a choice. Two or three more cups of coffee, or one five-hour energy. For more information, go to fivehourenergy.com. Individual results may vary. Hey there, Dale Jr. here. Around my place, I depend on this truck to get things done. Quaker State Defy to help keep it running strong. Quaker State Defy helps stop up to 98% of future engine wear. So while your odometer will keep on spinning, the wear will all stop. Defy time with Quaker State Defy motor oil. Based on secrets for a Everyday low prices on new Quaker State Defy motor oil. Available now at Walmart. Pick up some today. We're down to 14 laps to go. Brad Keselowski is still the leader. Jimmy Johnson still second. Casey Kane third. Kyle Busch fourth and fifth at Ryan Newman. From Chicagoland Speedway, this is the Motor Racing Network, the voice of NASCAR. I didn't always watch football here at Buffalo Wild Wings. Hey, buddy. Hey, come on in. Is it safe? Yeah, man. Come on, let's watch the game. Careful when I bring out the snacks, though. No sudden movements. Protect the football. Watch every game here. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings. Fear. Sports. Need another reason to visit Buffalo Wild Wings? Stop in and try our new Walton Buffalo Dip. Yeah, so and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and don't miss our new lemon pepper dry seasoning. All available for a limited time only. Find the location at buffalowildwings.com. Yeah, the construction zone. Ryan, technician with Safe Light Auto Glass. So you think all auto glass companies are the same? Well, they're Stay not. Stay along. Stay light, you get more. Every windshield we replace is backed by a national lifetime guarantee, keeping you covered wherever you are. Plus, Safe Light has more glass in stock than anyone, so we can get to you faster. Just tell your insurance company you want Safe Light. Or call 1-800-800-2727. Or go to Passing a lot of cars here. We're back in Chicago Land Speedway. Like we're we're 12 before. laps to go. Let's check in with Pete. Yep. It's 15 miles an hour now. We're 70 miles an hour. Now. Hopefully he's got a head knotted up for Steve the Tire and T-Motor. Rick Hendrick standing up here on the pit box in the 88 uh, uh, pit stall. But unfortunately they're saying that Junior's radioing. Radioing. There could be a vibration. They're not sure if it's a tire going down. I remember earlier in this race, they did have a tire go down and they had to come down pit road uh, in the first segment of this race and change it. So they're trying to Will you start home? He's 11th right now, 11 laps to go. Remember, he started the rear of the field after they changed the engines when the engine blew after falling 
don't stop the camera. At least the top 10 finished. But right now, they're going to have to sweat out these last 10 laps. Yeah, Meredith and Earnhardt right now would settle for a top 10 finish. Absolutely. I see Jeff Gordon coming out of the garage. They're going to try to get back out there and salvage what they can of this day here at Chicagoland Speedway. Only 10 laps remain. Brad Keselowski out front by two full seconds. Crossing the wheel off road. down for a while. Got within a second and a half. But I think that possibly... And Okay, better stand on it, and suddenly it's back up to 2.2 .2 seconds. Let's go on the margin that... Well, how did you think about that video? Just filled it up with a lot of good stuff. Well, to my conclusion of my 500th video, I'd say thank you so much for what you've done to, for my goal reach 500 videos on YouTube without you I wouldn't do this for you guys and uh, I thank everybody next video I'm doing If I reach 70,000 video views, I'll do a video for 70,000 video views. So, thank you for what I've accomplished to my next goal. And we hope you have, enjo you have enjoyed this 500 video I've, I've uploaded to YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to me to YouTube, please subscribe to me right away. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to say now is that's it for now. Goodbye. <laughs>